What's up dudes and dudettes of the internet, my name's Seth, and today it's another one of these vlog type video things. Now, I've got a bit of a different setup with the camera right now. This, of course, is not going to be a permanent thing because personally I like the camera being a little bit higher and looking down on me. But I'm testing out, um, this is a new camera setup. One sec, making a short vid test. Uh, I actually gra grabbed myself a new camera because I'm not exactly satisfied with the current camera that I have so I wanted to kind of do this video just as a test to see whether or not this one can actually do what it totes that it does. Fairly expensive mostly I'm sure because of all the extra features it brags that it's a projector or something stupid like that and it's like yeah I, I don't really care about that but the only thing that I was interested in is my camera that I currently use not this one right now um rocks my goodness, what's going on right now? Rocks, um, 28 MB per second or something like that. And then this one is supposed to be 50 MB per second. So hopefully it should be a considerable jump up in visual quality because that's one of the biggest things that I'm struggling with right now as I'm just trying to upgrade everything like that is it's, it, you wouldn't believe how difficult it is to try and find information about a camera that's actually going to be something good and does what you want it to do, especially for my specific functions, you know, because almost everything online is just going to talk about weird webcams and stuff like that that uh, some other top YouTuber used like a million zillion years ago, although it's not even a good camera or something. Just the, the, the amount of info online is just so saturated. Half of it is all wrong anyway, so unfortunately I got to just buy stuff and test it like we're doing with this. So anyway, as for a couple other things that I wanted to talk about, just because while we're here, we may as well. Uh, like I said before, I've said this uh, a couple times in these other vlog videos. As these end up, like, uh, there's there's a little bit less for me to say behind the scenes. You know, I'm kind of starting to get the hang of the 2K resolution thing. Lots of, uh, lots of learning, lots of uh, changes with the programs and stuff. By the way, fun fact, if you are running dual monitors, both at separate resolutions, Shadowplay sometimes will record your second monitor's resolution, even though it's recording what's on the first monitor's screen. Yeah. Try and figure that one out, coders. <laughs> So yeah, anyway, as I'm getting the hang of all of this stuff, it's been wonderful, and the response I've been getting from everybody has been great. Nobody has necessarily said like, oh, these picture qualities are so much better, but I've just noticed that the views have been going up, you know, I know that that has strongly to do with the audio and video quality setup. Uh, that's another thing too, is as far as like, I wouldn't say that 2k resolution for videos is something that you should end up doing in fact I should probably still be recording my videos just at 1080p But in all honesty, I couldn't get a high enough quality out of my videos Outside of just doing 2k because I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to that stuff You know, I don't know how to get high quality 1080p that looks this good, you know, so That's why we jumped up to 2k, but I'm hoping that this camera ends up working out uh, And I don't end up having to return it. However, it's a Sony camera, and you know Sony, they love their accessories and their garbage. So this is actually one of the stupidest cameras I've ever seen in my life, where it has to use the battery unless you get an accessory that's completely separate. Like the AC adapter for it is a completely separate thing, and of course it's Sony, so it's not just a normal AC adapter, it's a Sony brand one, right? Because they're evil like that and try to monopolize. Anyways, as for other things that have been going on, the struggle was real, the struggle is starting to come down. I'm very happy to say that things are starting to get very, very much in order. Why did someone complete one of these dungeons and not the other? Also, this week, uh, on Trove PTS, just while we're kind of hanging on Trove, I'm just getting my daily out of the way. But we've got uh, Mantle of Power should finally be coming on the PTS. We'll talk more about the details that that uh, entails once we actually get to that point, and it's actually there. Um, but I wanted to talk about just a couple other things just on the topic of, you know, upgrading gear. I actually use a Logitech mouse. 
I know this is kind of just jumping topic here, but I use a Logitech mouse and unfortunately it kind of, you may have seen in some of the videos, very rarely it happens now. I ended up finding out kind of what the problem was where it randomly starts disconnecting from the computer and then it just starts going and it's, it's really stupid, it's really, really annoying. And uh, the only solution that I could find to it was going into device manager, blah, blah, blah. And even then it still happens but not very often so the only reason I'm talking about that is I'm probably gonna have to get another mouse and in which case I'm probably gonna stay away from Logitech the reason I even have this mouse is because it's extremely comfortable for me that's the biggest point um what are the other things too? Yeah, I talked about the dual monitor stuff. Thumbnails are starting to get a big upgrade as you've seen with the recent Trove videos. I kind of just stumbled upon it and realized, dude, by this point, the title of the game is not very important. Everybody knows it's Trove. Everybody knows just based on the video title itself. So I'm going to start slowly experimenting with that with other series too, because as I stumbled upon that type of title card, like with the most recent Trove videos you've seen, I really like that like I, I just for myself personally I just really like the way that those title cards look like the thumbnails so I might try to do that for most of the other games unfortunately you know with Trove it's very easy for me because you know I'm very experienced with the game and then not to mention hello random person that this is the shortcut into this three star by the way but the other big deal is because uh, Trove actually lets me like I use the glowing blocks to have a green screen that's how I get like uh, a chroma keyed out image of like whatever mount or whatever thing I want to actually you know use for the thumbnail so it's gonna be a little bit more difficult and a little bit more manual labor on my part with um, other game videos and stuff but either way I wanted to point that out uh, the other things too just behind the scenes is Black Desert ended up coming out. If nobody knows about that, it's actually an extremely cool looking MMO where it's got like insane combat. It's like Devil May Cry or something like that and kind of really reminds me of, whoops, Dragon's Dogma. I'll have to edit that out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, either way, it looks like a real cool game. Uh, unfortunately, at the time right now, I, I'm I'm just bringing it up because I'm saying that I may end up starting a series. I would love to, but I don't know that I can just because uh, of the amount of series that are already going up on the channel. Even Warframe that ended up going re up recently. I don't know if I have room for that in the schedule. It depends how popular the series is, but still, it's a bit too early to tell for me. And... Uh, I, I'm trying like to really figure out you know what I can do to kind of uh, Minimize the amount of time that I'm spending like on other games so that I can squeeze in some more series and stuff So I'm actually happy to say that just last night I ended up let's let's do something entertaining so you can just watch me dance while I'm talking uh, But the other night just last night. I ended up grinding out um, I think it was there, yeah, I think I did like a six hour session or something like that and I grinded out portal nights So I actually have that entire series finished and recorded uh, However, now I actually have like a ton of episodes to edit and go through and stuff like that. So yeah um, the other thing too is what was it? Oh, yeah, No Man's Sky. Now, you may have heard me throughout the years uh, on the channel and stuff talking about this. But, yeah, um, No Man's Sky is a game I've actually been waiting for for a very long time. And I'm very excited that it's actually on pre-order now. So, I'm definitely going to be picking that one up and starting a series of it. Short answer is it's one of the most ridiculous titles of any video game. Like, seriously, that is not a sellable title. But the game itself, like, if you've played Starbound, it's like that but first person. The big thing that the game totes is that you can get into your ship which is fully upgradable and stuff like that and you can actually fly over to another planet and everything and it's very very exploration type game but also the biggest appeal to me is the graphic style because it's just very beautiful very alien very colorful so yeah that's that's something that I'm gonna be very excited to be presenting to everybody and I think Hopefully that game's gonna end up being fun enough and entertaining enough for myself personally that it could end up being uh, Like becoming another main series on the channel Despite popularity because I personally am just very very stoked about that one. Um, was there anything else? 
I think that might actually be it. So you know what? Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I need to use this video as a test. Let's find out whether or not this cam is actually all it's cracked up to be. See whether or not it's got a better uh, quality on it and stuff like that. Because that would be great if this camera just ended up being like crystal clear, really, really high def quality and stuff like that. Something that I could just use for the end game. Because currently my uh, current camera, not this one, but... It's not really something that I'm going to be using in the end game. I know that much. I've got my audio set up. I've got my video recording and stuff like that. And this is all like, I'm never going to have to change this. But I'm hoping that this camera is going to be the same deal. Because otherwise, like, I really don't want to end up spending, like, a thousand dollars or more on a new camera. This one was fairly cheap. It's not a thousand dollars. I'll say that much and uh, I, I'm just really hoping that I don't have to spend a ton of money on a camera You know because it's like for for what I use it for where it just sits here and just looks at me It's like come on man. That should be so easy to get you know, but that's just my own personal preference I know that none of you uh, I know that makes no difference to any of you dudes and dudettes just for myself personally, I watch the videos, I want higher quality, uh, I want to be able to present a higher quality product to all of you, and that's just, that's what it's about for me, you know? Uh, I, I, I know, like, I'm not trying to be all like, oh, I need this in order to succeed or anything like that. It's mostly just because I've been at this for years and I just want to step, uh, step up production and stuff like that. So anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Sanor, stay epic as always.